On my left, a gentleman whose twinkling brown eyes got quite a build-up in the New York news this morning. Sitting next to a girl like you, what normal man wouldn't have twinkling eyes? Oh, Mr. Sir. And on my left, our guest panelist tonight, mm -hmm. the famous publisher and columnist, Mr. Bennett Sir. Are they mammals? Yes. Oh, Maybe it's a whale. No, no, wait a minute. What about a green seal? Would you like to have a conversation? Oh, oh, that's it. Yes, I know what it is. What? He's got it. Uh, we had our conference. We, I got the answer from Bennett, I think. Are you a seal trainer? Uh, oh, 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 oh. oh Good night, Arlene. Good night, Bennett. Good night, John. On my left is the only girl in New York that my wife wouldn't trust me alone with. And how right she is. I trust all six foot of you any time. Well, Mr. Provenzano tests the whistles on whistling tea kettles at Alcoa Aluminum. <laughs> Good night, Fred. Good night, Fran. Testing. Good night. <laughs> I don't think this city offers a brighter, gayer, or more beautiful sight than the young lady on my right, Miss Arlene oh. Francis. Oh. Thank you, Bennett. That's very sweet. Uh, and it's a uniform that has to do with some nonprofit making organization. Is your job municipal? No, I would think we will withdraw the question, I believe, because the question was asked as to whether the employer in this instance was a governmental grouping of some kind, and the answer was in the negative. <laughs> you mean I was here when this went on? <laughs> President of Random House Publishers during the week. And the enchanting squire of Mont Kisco from Friday till Sunday. Uh, very nice to have you back with us, Arlene. We had a pretty cute little girl in that chair last week. You, you know. did indeed, uh. and her name is Legion. Uh. <laughs> one of the town's most terrific publishers on the one hand, and the man that makes the most terrible puns on the other hand, <laughs> Mr. Bennett, sir. <laughs> Arlene, I must tell you, you don't make puns with the hand. <laughs> on my word. <laughs> Gimmick on your head, Arlene. It's a, a hat. I'm oh, favoring the milliners of America. Kind tonight. of an adhesive quality. Can you stick it on you? <laughs> <laughs> if I had a Charlie horse in my back, which, thank heaven, I don't happen to have at the moment, would I maybe use one of these? Would it remedy an ache or a pain? Like yes. a, uh, a, a, a mustard plaster? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> On my left, a gentleman whose very, very funny new book, Good for a Laugh, will be on sale all over the country tomorrow morning, Mr. Bennett Sir. Pleasure to be back here between Dorothy Gilgallon and this other glamorous babe on my left, who was one of the chief inspirations for that book. An irresistible and versatile girl making positively her first television appearance. <laughs> that is in the past 15 minutes. <laughs> Queen Bee of Manhattan, the Bronx, and Queens. She'll tell you about the other boroughs herself. <laughs> I know the boroughs to which you refer too. Miss Francis. I think he's a professor at a girls' school, and I wish I went. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fine. Spells ether. Among other things, he's with the Scribd Company, and one of his main items is ether. We well, he had that effect on Arlene, you noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. And obviously, John, you've never had a martini at Bennett's house. Good night, Bennett. <laughs> Well, I don't need ether with girls like this around me. Good night, Arlene. <laughs> Good night and have fun in Dayton, Wednesday, Bennett. On my left is a very contented collector of lots of royalties on thousands of replicas of that little diamond heart she always wears. Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> and thank you for the business. She's a girl who has more friends and admirers than a winning candidate. Oh, I don't know if I can say anything now. <laughs> well, it should be very happy if she makes them. Makes them? That would make it seven down and three to go, Mr. Did she Lock? sell them? Sell them, will make it eight down and two to go, Mr. Sherman. Did she wear them? She designs them, would make it nine down and one to go, Mr. Sherman. She models them, Mr. Sherman. That makes it ten down and one to go. She buys them. All right, Bennett, and where are you off to this week? Oh, this time, it's a state secret, Dorothy. Can't take you with me. Good night, our lady. <laughs> can you take me? Yes, I think you can. Thanks, Bennett. You have no idea what fun it is sitting between these two girls every week. Good night, our lady. Yes, they have, too. Okay. On my left is a girl who, next to my wife, Phyllis, I'd most like to be cast away with on a tiny, tiny desert island. That's big enough for you and me and the monkeys, huh? Mr. Sir. But she's so young, I think she's a babysitter. Miss Francis. <laughs> you think she's a baby, don't you? She's one of the warmest, nicest people in television. Very exclusive, too. She's at home to about 20 million people every morning from <laughs> 11 to 12. That's very nice, Bennett. I'm going to see that you have an opportunity more often. It's not a yacht, is it, of any kind? No, it's not, not a yacht. Not a yacht. Ooh, ooh. Yes, it is not a yacht. Mm -hmm. Is it a uh, army boat of any kind? Navy. Not no. Navy? Well, army has boats. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Arlene. Good night, Bennett. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Bennett. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Bennett. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Benn
<laughs> I bet it. Arlene, if Mr. LaSurprise is still in the back, I'm going to buy you the Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> in some way, the person who could be said to be wearing it, yes. Is it worn above the nose? It could be. Yes, could be. Is it worn above the eyes? Could be. Could be, yes. <laughs> That's the greatest thing to ride out of Boston since Paul Revere. Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> Nigel Beacon Street, Siren, Arlene. Gentlemen, who we have missed very much while he's been vacationing in sunny California. The mirthful maestro of Mount Kisco, the king of Random House. A very nice goodie. A gentleman who has just voted one of the ten most famous pipe smokers in America. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, all ten of them are embodied in this one fellow. The gracious and hospitable squire of Mont Kisco. The enormously attractive publisher. But one of the warmest, most ingratiating fellows whom we welcome back with a 21-gun salute of affection. Devastating, then it serves. <laughs> It only matters. <laughs> there were three very important people up at West Point today for graduation exercises. One of them was President Eisenhower, one was General Omar Bradley, and one was Arlene Francis. Now, you <laughs> guess which one is at my immediate right. The lady who managed to cut her own eye today, but who, for my money, looks prettier with a patch on her eye than most girls do without one, Miss Hathaway Shirt of 1952, <laughs> Arlene Francis. Thank you, Bennett, dear. Wife of Martin Gable, lucky Steph, who's known professionally as Arlene Dimples Francis. <laughs> I'd like my full title, Honorary Whack Sergeant. Whack? <laughs> uh, I say I've been moved south of the border since I left. <laughs> and in the case of Arlene, it's certainly the prettiest border I ever saw. Oh, my <laughs> Lovely lady that you can see in the flesh, and mighty nice flesh it is. <laughs> I just want to tell you that out in Detroit, where I've just come back from, they think that you and Dorothy are the two most beautiful things in the country, with the possible exception of the 1955 Chrysler, Cadillac, and Ford. <laughs> is it a jewel of any kind? Yes. Is it uh, the ones that most girls would like to have keep them warm? A girl's best friend? Is it anything to do with the Diamond family? Yes, yes. It is? Yes. And you are in the Diamond business in some way? Yes. yes. That won't do just that much? No. <laughs> I'm just so ecstatic to meet anybody in the diamond business, I can't think of what he might do just like with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Mine Monroe. them? Do you, are you a miner? I think we'll have to buy that. <laughs> yes, actually, a diamond Randall miner. owns a diamond mine. Very good. Sit <laughs> down, Arlene. The attractive husband of Phyllis, Mr. Bennett, sir. Oh. <laughs> well, you can see why theater arts, and it's my issue, on a piece in What's My Line, calls Arlene the flirtatious member of the panel. <gasps> This is a big night for What's My Line. You know that Dorothy Kilgallen had a little boy the other day, and it looks as though the beautiful lady on my right's been giving birth, too, because Miss Francis, if you look closely, has that little diamond heart around her neck, but that's given birth to a little <laughs> diamond inside of her. <laughs> Miss Arlene Francis. I was nervous there for a moment, Bennett. Thank you. <laughs> Take Come on, Chase. <laughs> oh, I think you beat me. Oh, strong. Chap, uh, let me say he is our supposedly sophisticated and blasé. The mastermind of Random House. Who has come back from the West raving and starry-eyed about 16-year-old girls at the Elgin Academy. Are they that wonderful, Bennett, sir? <laughs> you'd, you'd make a fine headmistress, Arlene. <laughs> this lady who was characterized just before we went on the air for reasons that will be obvious to you, as a galloping thoroughbred of television. The girl that makes every Kentucky heart beat faster. Yes, I can say without contradiction, the hottest television panelist in town. <laughs> the girl with a $200,000 diamond heart around her neck and $2 million smile on her face, Miss Arlene Francis. Oh, how about that for an introduction? Thank you, Bennett. Three million. <laughs> <laughs> on my left is a cute little package who is going to be something when she matures. Itsy Bitsy Arlene <laughs> Francis. Thank you, dear. Walk down in front of the panel, please. Take yes. hands. I beat you to it. I know, but <laughs> I get the second. Good night, my sister Arlene. <laughs> Good night. And on my left is a lady who looks like a queen tonight, and she is. She's one of the two queens of What's My Line, Miss <laughs> Arlene Francis. Thank you, Your Highness. And boy, do they love him in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you, Arlene. Oh, oh, girl, do they love you in Niagara Falls and Toronto. Well, say, we've and, really uh, gotten around. Well, speaking of hot cakes, I'd like you to have a look at the one <laughs> on my left. One of the wittiest ladies on television. A gentleman who, with his family and his children, has given so much pleasure to everybody uh, that I hope that it comes back to him a hundredfold in 1955.
Are you a European or a foreign actress of some kind? Mm hmm Of a good kind, I trust. You are? Yes, I... Uh, oh, Lord. Have you uh, ever made a picture in America? Uh-huh. That's six down... I know it is. <laughs> wow! Six down in Portugal, do you want to have a weenie? Uh, uh is it Anna? Yes, Anna that's who it is. Are you an Italian it. actress? Mm-hmm. Oh, is your first great. name Anna? Mm-hmm. I'll say the last one. Manana, manana. 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 And don't let your shoe cuff know what your hand cuff is doing. Good night, Venice. Good boys and good night, Arlene. Good night, boys. Ooh. And good night, Venice. <laughs> I don't like to be separated from the boys. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Devastating. <laughs> I'm glad to know that the right side of your profile is just as pretty as the left. Good night, Arlene. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to have you off the yard. Good night, Bennett, dear. <laughs> Works. Good night, John. To my left was a winsome little lady who was always ready, willing, and gable. Miss Otter. <laughs> and on my left, at long last, you will see a gentleman walking in that you will find out is six and a half feet tall. No, six feet one inches tall. <laughs> Everybody always thinks he's much shorter than that, but you'll see tonight he's a very tall fellow without the benefit of standing on the Random House books that he publishes so well, Mr. Bennett Surf. <laughs> What can I say to you, Bennett? You may not be bigger than an elephant, but you're better. There. <laughs> Good night. If I had some mistletoe here, I'd show you it's really a useful product. <laughs> Good night, Eileen. Yes, indeedy. Thank you. Good night, my shepherd, Bennett. <laughs> Good night, Bennett. We'll miss you. You're one of the nicest two-legged animals I ever met. <laughs> well, thank you, Eileen. Good night, Bennett. Don't you know Arlene's quite a pitcher too. I'm gonna tell you what she pitches. Good night, John. <laughs>